In 2023, on Valentine's Day, a student events company was launched. Whilst everyone was out on dates, a first year student studying computer science at Queen Mary's University of London launched an events page. And that person was me. Hey guys, my name is Nirosh Nimalaraj and I've been hosting events for students across London for the past two years. And across these two years, I've been using different ticketing platforms, main ones being Eventbrite and Fatsoma. These are the biggest leading platforms in the industry right now. However, there are some issues with it. It has very high booking fees, it has very basic brand customization, very limited analytics, and it takes a long time to withdraw the money for the event organizers. But this doesn't really work for someone who needs flexibility, affordability, and full control. So I made the Volivin ticketing platform, the perfect platform for all my needs. To make sure my solution was better, I researched both commercial platforms and academic best practices. Eventbrite had decent analytics, but has high fees and heavy Eventbrite branding rather than the actual events branding. Fatsoma, on the other hand, has a very neat interface, but has no analytics. And it takes ages for the organizers to receive their payments. From an academic perspective, I applied user-centered design principles and best practices from Somerville's software engineering models. Most importantly, I used the model view controller design pattern to structure my system. The model manages all core data, such as users, events, tickets, bookings, inquiries, and payments. The controller handles login, registration, booking, input validation, and session management. The view includes the user interfaces like the login page, dashboards, feedback messages, and the booking form. This separation improved maintainability, scalability, and made it easy to integrate new features such as a Stripe payment, QR code generation, and admin analytics. This is the homepage that everyone lands on when they access the website. Now I'm going to pretend I'm a new user using the website for the first time and book a ticket. First, I'm going to register the account. Narosh. I have now filled up all the details. I'm going to click submit. As we can see, it has successfully registered. Now we're going to log in. We have now logged in. Logged in. On the left, we see our profile and we're a customer user. And this shows we're logged in. We have no bookings because no bookings have been made. Now we're going to make a booking. Book this ticket. Now, as we can see, it has two different types of ticket types. We're going to choose pre-sell because that's the cheapest one. And as you can see, it says there's five remaining. This is very important. We're going to go to book. If we choose two tickets, it'll be 40 pounds, but you want only one, so one. First name. All the details have been entered. We're going to proceed to payment. Now, we're going to enter the card detail. This is the card detail for Stripe and we're on test mode right now. And this is the detail to get correct payment. Now we're going to click pay. It's processing. As we can see, the ticket has been successful. We get booking ID and we have successfully booked the ticket. Now we can see our ticket at my bookings. This shows our ticket. We click view details. It also gives us our QR code, which is generated just for this ticket. And we know it was just for this because as we see, when we hover over it, it says the booking ID was 11 and it has the event name and is very specific to our booking. That is done. Now, what do we do if we want to change the password or change any of our detail? We're going to go to my account and we can make any changes we want. If you go back to our dashboard, it shows everything we have booked. It shows we booked one event, one ticket, we spent 20 pounds, and the last time we booked a ticket was the 7th of May. And this graph shows some analytics of our bookings. That is as a user. Now we're going to look at it from an admin perspective. So we're going to log out from this. We have successfully logged out. So we're going to enter our detail as an admin. Click login. We have now logged in. First thing we see 
The profile in the left corner changes, it shows that we're an admin account. Second thing, on the right there's a notification saying that we have some inquiries. Now, we could explore all the admin options. So we have view events, we could add events, we can view all the users that we have. So these are all the users, these are the system user, which is also the admin, and we have all the customers. We can view all the age ratings, we can delete some age ratings if we like, or edit them. We can view all the languages, edit languages, add languages. If you click view bookings, it will show all the bookings that was ever booked in our system. And for each one, it also shows the QR codes. Now we have contact inquiries. So we have the contacts, we can see both the contacts. We can also view the contacts by clicking on the notification, it also takes us there. If you scroll down, it has a system overview. This system overview shows all the details of our bookings. So it shows that two, there's two events altogether, eight tickets have been bought altogether. This is how much has been made. There's three unique customers that bought these tickets. And the last booking was 7th of May, which was literally right now from our new user. And if we scroll even more down, it has the graphs, the analytics graph that's been generated live according to each booking. This shows all the details in the last six months. This shows the top performing events, as we can see, which is other nature, and it shows the revenue and how many tickets have been sold. If we go on to view an event, we can edit details of an event. Let's add a ticket release. So we could add a ticket release. Let's call it second release. Make that nine pounds, put 10 tickets available and save. Now a ticket release has been added. We could check that. If we go back onto it, it says, has been added. Let's see if the change is visible on the user page. We go to log out. Let's log back into the user account. Now we've logged into our account. Let's see if the ticket release has been added. There's a second event. We click book now. As we can see, it's a second release, nine pounds, 10 tickets. And that is exactly what we just added. How would that make my project even better for the future to make sure that I could use it for all my events? I would add the refund management system. This is when the system allows us, the organizers, to refund the ticket if needed. Number two, automated email notifications. This is very important for marketing. We can collect emails with their consent and we can send them regular updates on upcoming events. This will push ticket sales for the organizers. And the final thing I would love to do is make a mobile QR code scanning app. This is to be used on the day of the event. So someone will be at the door to check tickets and they could open the app and they will scan their QR code to make sure they had the valid ticket. To ensure reliability and quality, I did a few forms of testing. Authentication testing, unit testing, browser compatibility testing, user acceptance testing. I also went a step further and made sure Stripe is configured for PCI compliant payment processing and GDPR standards are followed with minimal data collection and a user and admin separation. This coursework project is more than just a coursework for me. This project helped me mix my entrepreneurial mindset with my computer science knowledge to produce the perfect real life solution to solve my issues. Through this experience, I've grown as a full stack developer, problem solver, and a product designer. I've applied everything I've learned from system architecture to user feedback to deliver a platform that solves a real world problem. A final big, big thank you for watching my video.